himself the barefoot bandit was easily caught by police. Detectives reported that once he made his way through the broken glass of the storefront, they easily traced his bloody footprints to his hideout. As they came upon the young man, he fell to his knees and held his We're bloody feet in the air. The guns and and today. Me, the we pain, need a toy the for the kids that won't blow them away. He's got a ponytail and he works at the mall. He's the health food store boy doll. Just pull his string and you'll hear him say, Morning, Mrs. Johnson, we've got fresh prunes today. And if you pull it again, you'll hear him decree, Try our fresh soy cakes and organic muesli. We've got tofu, cashew, and grilled tempeh, And our wheatgrass shots are groovy today. Can I get you a paper or plastic sack? I've got my eyebrow pierced and a hammer backpack. I ride my bike up and down the bay, And I really don't mind if you're straight, bi, or gay. Let's go see the dead, we'll have us a ball. I'm the health food store boy doll. It's the health food store boy doll. Doctors are sold separately. One, take the medication and apply liberally to the infected area. If burning or itching per Okay, looks like our player is all set. Well, you know how she tends We're to almost at go! Oh, oh, you slay me with your jocularity. Oh, I'll bet you're a hoot at heart. Oh, that's right. You have no friends. Sad. I'm gonna call you El Feo. Ten seconds! Bye, Curious. Hand tool check, please. Six. Yes. Five, Let's go four, to black. Three. Taste the I am Cookie, host of You Don't Know Jack, the funny trivia game show. Don't have much time to get this information out before the music hits its peak. I just need to tell you quickly that... Ah, crap. Flying solo, so did Amelia Earhart. And look how that turned out. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Ultimate Control Remote Controlled Universal Remote Control. If you buy every bullshit tech device that hits the market, you should buy this one too. Okay, no turning back. Right off the bat, all that vajazzling. Time for a good old-fashioned SAT-style analogy question. Caesar Milan is to dogs as Jennifer Love Hewitt is to what? Cats, horses, boyfriends, or ghosts? I think some of your cash wants to see other people. Want to see the answer? Caesar Milan is the dog whisperer and Jennifer Love Hewitt plays the ghost whisperer. I actually use a lot of Milan's dog whispering tricks on the interns here. Yeah, if they do something I don't like, I just poke them in the side. Or I put on rollerblades and make them pull me down the street by a leash. <laughs> Open wide for... The Da Vinci Doodle Codes. You know, Leonardo Da Vinci didn't just paint, he made sketches of things that wouldn't be invented until many years after his death, which I believe makes him some sort of evil wizard. Anyway, suppose the characters in Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code only investigated Leonardo Da Vinci's famous sketches of inventions. What would not be a potential clue? Jesus was married to his machine gun, Mary Magdalene flew away on an airplane, the Pope rides a motorcycle, or Leonardo was in a secret cult called the Parachutes. Watch your tip. Da Vinci sketched drawings for seeing the machine gun, airplane, and parachute, but no evidence has surfaced to indicate Da Vinci foresaw the advent of a motorcycle. Which is strange, because Da Vinci is considered by most to be the inventor of the sidecar. I call this one, when words try to find themselves. What are noun, verb, adjective, and adverb? Nouns, verbs, adjectives, or adverbs? They're all nouns. I guess it seems kind of weird that a verb is a noun, but hey, my name is Cookie, and uh, I'm not a cookie. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. Hey. It's time for... The Audubon Guide to Vampires. And bloody hell, it's a dis or dat. I'm going to list seven names, and it's up to you to classify each one as either an official U.S. state bird or 
A character from the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If it's a state bird, press the square button. If it's a character from Buffy, press your circle button. Snare the right answer and you'll nab 300 bucks. But a blind stab's gonna cost you 300. And always keep your binoculars on the timer. Okay, let's move. Willow Goldfish. Willow Termigan. Willow Rosenberg. Mark Bunting. Cordelia Chase. Riley Finn. Nene. Aw, oh, your heart's not in it, is it? You ever get pooped on by a vampire? It's hard to get out, but it's supposed to be really lucky. Where's the vibe, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Why not try? I'm so happy, and you know, I'm not reading this question title, it's stupid. I can already feel myself starting to get annoyed with everything during the show. I should probably go ahead and take the medicine my doctor prescribed for my so-called out-of-control anger issues. Let's see here, how often am I allowed to take these? Oh, come on. You know, I can't understand anything it says on this friggin' bottle because it's using all kinds of crazy medical lingo that no one ever explained to me! That pharmacist is a gigantic f***ing <laughs> liquor! <clears throat> what medical shorthand should I write on this bottle if I want to tell my pharmacist to stick it where the sun don't shine? PR, bid, ad lib, or T and A? PR is medical shorthand for per rectum. I think that gives you a clear enough visual image. You know what? Screw it. Can't read the instructions. I'm just going to take some of these. Can't get it. Won't open. How do I get this? Damn it! Damn it! It's stuck! Ah! 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 So tired now. Round one is in the books. And you've got a decent score there. Don't screw it up. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And keep in mind, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Okay, let's see what's next. Try this on for size. Novelty buys for the hearing impaired. You ever go to a ball game and wave one of those big foam fingers around? While I'm trying to watch the game? Given the letter those number one foam fingers resemble in American Sign Language, which Major League Baseball team would you expect someone with a number one finger to be rooting for? Oakland A's, Detroit Tigers, Toronto Blue Jays, or Houston Astros? In ASL, a D is formed by touching your fingertips to your thumb and extending the index finger upwards. And after a game, it's customary to greet fans of the other team with a similar hand formation, just with a different finger. Question seven. This one's called, My teeth are falling out and everyone has dog faces. Oh man, last night I watched a movie and ate three boxes of toaster pastries, and as happens, I fell asleep and had the craziest dream. So in this dream, I was invited to a mysterious gathering during a thunderstorm at this mansion with all these strangers, except one of the strangers was my cat Poopsie, and one was my cat Mayonnaise. And my mom was there, but she was murdered. I've been murdered! And we had to figure out which one of us was the murderer. The weirdest part of the dream is that there were four different endings. What could possibly be the movie I was watching last night? Click? Clerks? Clue? Or Closer? The correct answer is... Oh, yeah, Clue! That was the movie I watched last night! I know it was just a dream, but I should probably call my mom and make sure she's alright. I've been murdered! 
I can't take your call right now. Leave your message after the beep. That's weird. No, that's the movie where Adam Sandler gets the crazy super-powered remote control. <laughs> sort of like what you're about to get because you've just won... The Remote Controlled Universal Remote Control from Ultimate Control Remote Controlled Universal Remote Controls. Tired of using your remote control in person? Well, you're in luck because now you can use your Remote Controlled Universal Remote Control. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Lord and chicken is picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. This one's known as... In the face! Imagine a Hellraiser movie where Pinhead gets his normal pins replaced with acupuncture needles in an effort to calm his temper. What would be a good name for the movie? Cruel Head, Milliner Head, Tatting Head, or Filiform Head? Filiform needles are used in acupuncture to relieve pain and stress. And as someone who knows the level of stress one goes through when harvesting human souls, believe you me, he needs the therapy. Here's one I like to call, Turn Me Online. So, after the Nile, the Amazon is the second longest river, and the Yangtze is the third longest river. Which leads me to this. If you wanted to order a book from Amazon while near the Yangtze, which web address would you use? Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.cn, Amazon.fr, or Amazon.co.jp? The Yangtze River is in China, and domains in China end in CN. Like this real address for Amazon in China. Of course, if you just wanted to order a book from Borders while near a border, you'd have a lot more options. Hold me, never let me go. Am I May I introduce credits or dread it? Suppose the number of free credit report commercials you've seen is the same as the highest possible FICO credit score. If the ads are a half minute long, how many minutes have you spent on them? 400 minutes of your life, 425 minutes of your life, 450 minutes of your life, or 499.5 minutes of your life? Watch the clock! You wish. Now pay attention. The highest possible FICO credit score is 850. And at 30 seconds or a half minute each, that means you've spent half of 850 or 425 minutes of your life on those commercials. Which is only a fraction of the time I spend watching QVC, which is also why my credit score is 14. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 if you're right, but you lose 4,000 if you're wrong. But keep this in mind. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I was born. I was born with a plastic spoon in my mouth. Good luck.
That's the game! Well, congratulations. We designed this jack attack to be incredibly easy for living organisms. Yay, you passed this test. You are not dead or a zombie or an inanimate object. Probably. I once saw one of those duck shit put on your desk that dips its head up and down into a glass of water do pretty good, so you might be one of those. You don't know Jack! Good game, everyone. Donnie, what's next? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings? Oh, Janice, how do you keep your skin looking so youthful? Well, I'll let you in on my secret if you promise to keep it under your hat! This is not my real face! It's a mask! Forever Young Baby Disguise is perfect for those who long for those wrinkle-free days of youth. And it's so simple. Just a color photo of a baby's face blown up and printed on 100% recycled cardboard. Simply apply the mask with tape and voila! You have a baby face. <laughs> and here I thought you were just naturally youthful. No! And it's so much cheaper than Sandery! Here, try one! Wow! I can already tell that people are looking at me differently. Thanks to Forever Young Baby Disguise, I can hold my head up high. Yellow? Tired of straining your eyes reading the yellow pages? Hate carrying around all that heavy paper! Now get all the information of the telephone directory in the excitement of an audiobook. It's the Telephone Directory Audiobook from Yellow Pages Audio Phone Books. This 250 disc set includes businesses. Alverson Plumbing, 847 to Residence, Donaldson, Edgar C, 952-457. And much, much more. Order in the next 20 minutes and we'll send you a free copy of VCR Instructions read by Sir Ian McKellen. To cancel the blanked program position, select the corresponding program. Buy your Telephone Directory Audio book today and let your ears do the reading celebrity voice impersonated morning ted oh you look horrible rough night last night you bet it was carol's and my anniversary and we didn't get any sleep <laughs> sounds great you'd think but I don't know. Nighttime's just not the same as it used to be. Sounds like you need some nighttime putty. Nighttime whaty? Nighttime putty. It's just like regular putty, but for nighttime. Huh, how's it work? Here, I'll show you. See, because nighttime putty's made from a water-soluble, stain-proof plasticine polymer, I can mold it around this area here, or even back here, and up over this for a fit that goes on smooth and stays secure all night long. I see. Whoa, what's that part for? <laughs> I thought you'd ask about that. Look, if I bend this back here and open this flap, ta-da! Oh my gosh, how'd that get in there? <laughs> Beats me. Wow, Dan, you sure know a lot about nighttime putty. Hey, my late night buddy is nighttime putty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Dan. Ugh, I hate these braces. My stupid mom made me get them. Yeah, braces suck. Braces and mom suck. Ooh, Tyler just texted me. Tyler's a douche. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. Hey everybody, this is Mike Builder, General Manager of Jellyvision Games, the makers of You Don't Know Jack. We're hard at work here on the floor of the Jellyvision Game Design Workshop, coming up with great games that you'll be playing in the years to come. So keep your eyes peeled for some of our upcoming products, like Angry Yoga, Vampires vs. Show Dogs, Wacky Oki, What's That Smell, Newscaster, Tax Preparation 3D, Space Farts, Enough About You, and Tween Fighter. We're also working on lots of casual games that are fun for the whole family. Puppy Bucket, Everybody Help Grandma, Jarts, Awkward Confessions, and so much more. So if you love fun and fart noises, clear some room on your game shelf for the Jellyvision games of the future. Later tonight on the season premiere of Hoofs of Love. 18 women living in a house competing for the love of one famous horse. Oh my god, he was in that movie Hidalgo? He was the one that wasn't Viggo Mortensen. Who's up for body shots? But it's not just fun and games because all's fair in love and horse. Most of these women are... 